talking spiders now. Most people know to steer clear of a black widow or a brown recluse, but there are many spiders out there that actually pose no harm to people. OSU structural entomologist Brad Card teaches us the difference. The black widow spider really likes to be in enclosed areas, in boxes, spaces between firewood piles, anywhere it can kind of hide and build a small web. Oklahoma, there's large populations of brown recluse throughout the entire state, can build up in large numbers into the hundreds or thousands, especially in abandoned houses, or say a house that's been for sale for several months and no one's been living in it, they can build up in extremely large numbers. You won't really see that happen with black widows, which are more solitary, and you may just find a few. Egg cases are circular spherical egg cases, whereas the brown, widow, uh, the brown recluse spider, its egg cases are pasted on the side of a board or a wall or a hidden area, and they look like little Hershey's Kisses, except they're white. They're not globular. And so the brown recluse spider, because it's called a recluse, it's reclusive. It's also called a corner spider. It hides out in corners. Any, rec any area it can hide, like under a dresser, under a bed, it is not aggressive, but it is a rapid mover. If you catch it out on a wall and you try and capture it, it can move very rapidly, whereas you won't find black widows off their webs very often. And there's also wolf spiders that get in the house. There's cellar spiders that get in the house. All these other spiders, venom is not something that a human has to worry about because they don't really bite humans. So they look similar and they are brown, but they're not venomous. But they do not have the fiddle back on its thorax and they do not have three pairs of eyes on the front of its cephalothorax. There is a common spider, a brown house spider, that looks similar to a black widow spider it's in the same shape, but it's more aggressive. It, it attacks larger animals, like even lizards, and it's not very venomous as far as humans go. Whereas, of course, the black widow spider is completely black with the red hourglass on its ventral side of its abdomen. The black widow spider venom is a neurotoxin. It attacks the nerves. It's paralytic. If you get bitten by a black widow spider, within five or ten minutes, you'll have severe pain, almost a severe burning sensation but you don't get the dead tissue like you do with a brown recluse spider. So you have a neurotoxin in the black widow spider, but you have a cytolytic toxin, which kills cells and tissues. You can get open sores and infections, whereas you normally won't see that with a black widow spider. Yeah, if you get a, any kind of spider infestation, it's always good to call a pest management professional. For more information about spiders in general, and go to the SUNUP site, and they'll also have references to different spiders in Oklahoma.